Welcome back to Miller's in Motion. We are calling this a crime of opportunity adventure. We happen to be in the Dallas area instead of Fort Worth uh, for some things. And we had about four hours to kill. So we came to the Perot Museum of Nature and Science, I believe is the official title. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing if you like the content. And let's take you around one of the top rated museums in the country. Also, because this is a crime of opportunity video, we are shooting this completely on my iPhone. know that back in the dinosaur times they had flying turtles. So coming to the Peru Museum, you actually start out at the very top and work your way down. That's a little unique. What'd they call the escalator? The T-Rex escalator. So this is really cool. Uh, here in Ellis County at a routine excavation on a quarry, they found a really like nearly pristine, nearly complete Colombian mammoth uh, skeleton. And so that's really local and that's an awesome find. All right, so that very top level we were on is called Universe Life Then and Now. Fancy way of saying dinosaurs. Yes. And birds, apparently. Well, and like the history of Earth and the solar system, too. Forgot about that first part. Um, the level we just came off of is called Earth Energy Gems and Minerals. That's why it's a little sporadic all over there from everything from natural gas and how we create energy to Earth. Gems? I just heard diamonds. The, uh, we're gonna move on. The uh, the level we're going to now is called Life, Being Human, Engineering, and Innovation. I don't know what any of that means. We'll find out. He's not that 
pig and he's really cute. Do you think we could just pass him off as a dog? And we are officially right up Lauren's alley. And this is how you know if you're into medicine. Meanwhile, I think it's gross and makes me kind of want to vomit a little bit. Like any museum or attraction, there's a gift shop. It is funny to me too how when we walk through these things, we immediately touch coffee mugs like, will it or won't it break in the RV? They'll always break. Pretty much. Pretty basic gift shop. Mugs, shirts. If you've been in the gift shop, you understand what we're in. Really? All right, that was our time at the Pro. I don't know why we're doing so many museums all of a sudden, but we are. So what did you think of it? I thought it was really neat. Um, I think it's well organized. It's very interactive. Um, and so even the kids, like the smaller ones, seem to be really enjoying themselves. So I thought it was pretty cool. And there's a lot of diverse things to look at. Yeah, it's, it's, I agree. It, it's very diverse, mm -hmm. almost to a point of, wait, where are we? <laughs> um, trying to kind of stay in some sort of an order, whether it's chronological yeah. or whatever. And each floor, you really have to separate off into their own mm -hmm. thing. And That's almost true. each section of each floor in their own mm -hmm. thing. Um, my only issue with it, I would say, was it's 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 definitely more of a kids museum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it tries to bridge the gap to adults as yeah, well. Um, you're saying that like it's a good thing in I your did. tone. Uh -huh. I'm saying it like it's almost a bad thing. Yeah. Um, you know, adult museums. You, when you're trying to read something as an adult, mm -hmm. and 15 kids run past you and bang into you, it gets right. a little distracting and hard to read and you don't get as much out of it in my opinion so um it's it is more of a kids museum but they do try to bridge that gap it's just yeah, i thought so um you know it's summer that's the other thing too if we went during the week during school probably wouldn't be quite so bad um but field trips look like daycares and that kind of stuff were there and so yeah. it was a lot of younger younger kids right mm -hmm. so but it was still fun it was right. just you know kitty <laughs> and just but what do you expect? <laughs> True. Technically, um, I think it took us about an hour and a half to go through it. Yeah. I think you can stay a lot longer. And then as far as the cost goes, it's marked at, I think, $25 for adults. Mm -hmm. um, but they run a couple of discount programs, so make sure to look into those. Absolutely. Uh, so we have a little bit more in Dallas we're going to do, uh, mainly feed me. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go grab some lunch, and then we're going to kind of wrap this thing up. You got it. One eternity later. Well, hello from the future. I am very, very sorry, but we did not actually record anything else after this clip. I say that. There's a few clips, but they make no sense. Um, we pretty much just went and had lunch and then had to kind of zoom on to uh, some other appointments. And that wrapped up our day. And in doing all that, we completely forgot to shoot an outro for the video. So... Very, very sorry about that. Uh, also, we appreciate you sticking around to the very end, especially with the shaky camera audio fun that was a cell phone shoot. Uh, that's the first time we've ever shot an entire video specifically on the cell phone. So, thank you so much for sticking around with us. We would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And also, I would love to know, what's your favorite museum you've ever been to? We are a fan of them for the most part. Um, so we like to check them out um, as we as we travel. So uh, hit us up with some. We'll see if we can kind of get to them and check them out. Uh, but until then, we will see you next Sunday at 5. Bye, Mom. <laughs>